Bold DIY, along with Gemini Studio and Deep Seek version three is absolutely wild. And I'm gonna be guiding you through it today, along with showing you my best tips, templates, recipes, and strategies to make sure that you can use this completely for free. And I'm gonna guide you through it step by step. Now, the first place you're gonna to wanna to start is by navigating to the GitHub bolt.diy. Now from here, what you can actually do is you can set this up for free locally on your laptop. It doesn't cost you a penny. It's not like bolt.new where you have to pay for tokens and it's really easy to get set up. So all you're gonna do is make sure you have Docker installed and make sure you have the latest version of Next.js. Make sure that you actually have Docker open in the background. I've got it up in the top right there. And then from here, you're just gonna pump it open on the old terminal. So if we go to the terminal over here, you can see I've already run through the documents. It might take a few minutes to download, but step by step, you can see that we've done the git clone over here. Then we've set up the command. Then we've basically just copied and pasted the instructions. If you have any problems setting this up, then what you can actually do is just screenshot it, plug into ChatGPT, ask for help that way. Now, once you've set it up and it shouldn't take too long, what you're gonna see is something like this. And essentially, once you've opened it up, you open it up in the local host, which terminal is gonna give you. If you want to know what URL that is, it will actually give you it once it's successfully set up on terminal. So you can see the local host URL right there. And if you're still struggling, check out my video from yesterday because I guide you through a step-by-step -step on exactly how to set up. Now from here, what you're gonna do is once you're inside the local host, you can actually see some chat history. So you can see all the stuff that you set up previously right here. And then you can also select the API that you prefer. Now this is very different to bolt.new, which is the paid version of this tool. Because you're running it locally, you can actually select between the different APIs as you can see and then you can just edit the API key that you want to use here. And you can also select between Coda and chat if it's got that option, right? So for example, if we go to Google, um, we look through the options, we've got 1.5 Pro, 2.0 Flash, Experimental 1206. And this is super powerful for just creating your own apps and building your own apps. Now you can create websites and tools and other stuff, but today what I wanna focus on is how to build apps because I already covered websites yesterday and I wanna create something new for you. So inside Bolt DIY over here, we can go to Google and then we can select, for example, DeepSeek. One thing I wanna say here is like DeepSeek is very cheap and I think it's something like 10th of the price of course on it, which is like its alternative. But if you want completely free, if you don't wanna mess around, you wanna get it completely for free, then don't worry because Mr. Goldman has you back here. And if you go into Google AI Studio over here, click get API key, then create an API key. You can from here, get an API key, and then you're gonna go back to Bolt DIY, select it, boom shakalaka. You're in and you're living the dream, all right? So let me run you through some example apps that we can actually build. And um, one really easy tip for this, if you're struggling, if you're not sure what you need, go to ChatGPT and inside ChatGPT say, what apps can I build in my niche? And then just insert it. Keep them super simple ideas, right? So for example, I'm in the SEO agency niche. So I'm gonna plug in that directly into the chat. And then it's gonna give me some ideas of what I could build as an app, right? So for example, like a SEO RI calculator, content idea generator, broken link finder, etc. Like pretty much all of these you could probably build directly with Bolt, right? Now, if you wanna build an app, you don't need to do anything too fancy. Just select whichever API you wanna use. For now, I'm gonna select DeepSeek and then DeepSeek Coder. And then from here, we can even prompt it using the microphone or we can just prompt it using ourselves. And we're just gonna say something like, Create a synthesizer app that's fun and easy to use. Then from here, we're gonna wait for that to start coding. And as you can see, it's now building out the files. Now, what I love about this particular version of Bolt DIY is that you can use really nice APIs. They're actually gonna code you things first time round. Whereas for example, if you go into Bolt.new, you can get a lot of issues simply because it's using older APIs, right? For example, like DeepSeek version three, that's a new API, it's just been released and therefore it's more reliable, right? And the newer these APIs become, and the more updates that get released, the better it is to be able to customize the API that you use because that's gonna be the latest version, which means that you're probably gonna get a more effective upgrade, right? And now you can see we've got the code ready to go. We created an app in seconds. I only required one prompt and we didn't even have to type it out. And then from here we can select, okay, what do we wanna use? Here's the volume. And if we just test it out, it's incredible, right? It's absolutely incredible. It's just, what a time to be alive. That's what I would say to you, my friends. So let's say, for example, you've got some apps you want to create in your niche, right? For example, if we look at the meta tag generator, we'll go over to Bolt. We can select whatever API we want. So for example, like DeepSeek, 
and then we can say, okay, create a meta tag. And what we can do from here is we can select the AI right here. And basically what that's going to do is then give a more detailed prompt based on the original idea so that we don't just give it like something super brief and we can plan out a bit better. So from here, we've selected DeepSeek version three. We're using the DeepSeek Coder API and we're going to hit enter from there. And now you can see you can generate apps in like the space of literally one single click. Now it might not work straight away depending on how complex the actual tool is, but it's pretty simple and easy to fix even if there is an issue. Now from here, what you can additionally do is push this to GitHub. You can open up the terminal. You can sync the files. You can download the code, right? So for example, if you want to store it locally and edit it later, and yet there's just so much you can do with this, right? So you can see there is an error right there. So what we're going to do is just ask Bolt to fix it. And essentially it's because we need to install Vite. So it's going to install Vite right there. Additionally, what you can do from here is let's say, for example, you want a different API. Maybe you want to use multimodal modes, for example, like Google's API, it can allow images and it can look at images like screenshots and then figure out from there. Well, you can select the API from the list and then go to, for example, like Google and then select that as the API. Now, if we go to our preview, you've now got the app ready to go. As you can see, you can just plug in everything and all the information that you need. It's pretty simple and easy to use. Right? So as an example of this, we've generated the meta tag generator app in literally the space of seconds. We've plugged in the title from a random blog post, taken a short description, and then boom, shakalaka, you got the generated meta tags right there. It's so simple and easy to do. And you have, for example, the keywords. I don't know who even uses meta tags in 2025, but you get the idea. Like it's quite easy to build these out and you can get unlimited ideas directly from ChatGPT, plug them into Bolt, build them out in seconds and you live in the dream. If you're figuring out, okay, like how do you host these? So you can download the code like I was showing before, and then you can drag and drop them directly into GitHub, or you can actually go into Netlify Netlify is a place where you can host all the files that you have, or you can link it to GitHub as well. I've shown that in my video yesterday, so I don't want to show it again today, but you get the idea. Now let's have a look at another example. So we'll create the content readability analysis tool. So for example, I'm going to plug this in right here. And one thing actually I've have no, and then we can highlight that, click the AI again to generate something better. Additionally, you might want to make it look better. So for example, if you looked at that previous tool we built, pretty basic, nothing that interesting right there. So we can say, for example, make the UI amazing and very interesting plus sleek design, right, something like that. Just to make sure that the UI is much nicer on the tool that we actually create. And there you go, you got your readability analyzer right there, plug in your text, copy paste, see if this actually works. And then you can just copy and paste and, and just analyze whatever you want to create, right? Now, if we go back to the list inside Bolt over here, you can also select between your different chat history. So you got that on the left-hand side. And the reason you might want to use that is because let's say you've got a tool that you want to recreate using, say, the vision mode inside Google, right? So let's say, for example, it will go to a tool that I've previously created inside here. And again, this is more a focus on apps today in this video. But if you check out my other videos, you'll see the other stuff that we've done around tools and websites and that sort of thing. But if we X off that, we'll go back to Bolt plug in the screenshot likes and we'll say, okay, recreate this screenshotted app. We'll select the text. We'll select the AI from there. And the reason you might want to do that is because when you're using these tools is because then the AI has got a good idea of what are you trying to create? What should success look like? Right? So instead of having to figure out, okay, the UI should be over here and the tool should be used in this way and all the boxes should be used like this, blah, blah, blah. You can just recreate it using this kind of clone option where you can take a screenshot of whatever you want to recreate. And then from there, you can start creating it. Like you could probably even sketch it out if you wanted to into a wireframe and then paste that into the tool and from there, recreate it using the AI. So there's many, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with this. And I think 2025 is going to be the year of like personalized apps, personalized tools, I don't think many people will be paying for coders, right? I don't know if you saw, if you want to see something really wild, just take a look at this. So for example, the Wall Street Journal, they reported that tech job seekers without AI skills face a new reality, lower salaries and fewer roles, which is pretty scary. Now here's where it gets really scary, right? So basically Wall Street Journal, they said in February, salaries for software developers declined on a year over year basis for the first time since the start of Indeed's pay data in 2019, right? So postings on Indeed, which is a massive job ads platform, 
have fallen by 67% from March 2022 to the end of February. Now, no one knows like the exact reason why, but for sure, someone like me, I'm not going to hire a coder anymore, right? I can just build out these tools pretty quickly using, for example, DeepSeek, which is so cheap to use and so easy to use. And then you've got this tool built out. It's ready to go. You plug in the API, you plug in the keywords, boom, shakalaka. You've automated something that might take a developer like a couple of weeks, and then you have to find a good one, and then you have to pay them, and then you have to go back and forth, etc. And that's a scary reality that we live in these days. Now, what's also interesting from here is that you can actually select Perplexity, right? Now, why would you want to use Perplexity? Perplexity actually has access to the internet when you're using the API, right? For example, if you look at some of these tool ideas, the SERP preview tool, right? Or for example, if you're trying to build a content outline tool that can actively scan the internet and look at your competitors and who's ranking, then you would use something like Perplexity for that API, connects to the internet, does exactly the same or even better than most content outline tools out there. And you can just automate it in a couple of clicks. So thanks so much for watching. I've actually got a full SAP inside my free course, link in the comments and description that has tons of use cases and example prompts like you can see right here along with 200 AI SEO tips, tutorials, and templates. And when you sign up, you'll get free access to the AI SEO Success Lab, which comes with a community of 2,800 SEOs you can ask for help, along with a classroom full of courses, as you can see right here, and 50 free AI SEO tools that we actually built with AI, right? And you can see all the amazing courses and tutorials inside here. If you like no-code AI tools, then you'll probably, for example, Bolt.new, Windsurf AI, like, project IDX, et cetera. There's tutorials and templates and SFBs on every single one of those methods, like you can see in the video notes right there. So feel free to get that link in the comments description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan. So you'll get a custom tailored link building plan so you can generate more leads, sales, and profits from your website. Additionally, you're going to discover the secrets of link building specifically for your website. We'll answer any questions you have. So our world-class SEO experts will answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. And you'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors. So on that call, we're going to look at you, your competitors, build out a game plan, and show you exactly how to rank. And that is completely free. Feel free to book it in. Link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.